Hey guys, I am ready to get the evening started and I have myself a blended coffee drink. Yes, it's in the evening, but um, you know, it's just one of those days I wanted something cold, blended, some coffee. So I was like, I'm going to swing by and pick me up a little treat. And here she is. She is almost gone because it's that good. It's a blended mocha with some caramel and then oat milk. So it is on point too good it's one of those drinks where you get it and it's almost gone you got to slow yourself down so um it should get these wheels or at least help the wheels to get to going but um depends on the offers we get today so to start it off two days ago i called into spark because i wanted to take two zones off of the list of the zones that I'm in that I get that are too far away because it's bringing down my acceptance rate. My acceptance rate has gotten really low. I think it's at 4%. And I called in and had them remove those two cities from my offer list. And um, they said, I think it was going to take, it could take up to like seven business days or something if I recall correctly. Anyways, that evening I get this text message and I don't know if any of you guys have gotten this text message but i was like what is going on here because all i did is i called in to remove two cities from you know the the area that i want to accept offers because like i said they're too far away the text message that i got says hi brianna thank you for your interest in the spark driver app and i'm like interest i'm already a spark driver you are currently on the wait list for this zone. You will receive updates each Monday until a spot becomes available. Check out these driver resources and facts in the meantime by going and it gives a website. And I'm thinking to myself, and this is like at night, past the time that I can turn on my spark and see if I get some offers to make sure that I'm still on. And I'm like, all I did is call sparks customer support to have two zones removed i hope i wasn't removed from the platform i was kind of like oh my gosh anyways i'm still on i'm still good because i was able to get on so i don't know what that is about my husband too drives for spark and he ended up getting the message yesterday so it almost seems like a glitch because i then got it again yesterday so i'm like what is going on has anybody received that but at first I was a little concerned. I was hoping the guy didn't remove me from Spark just for trying to remove two zones because you just never know. But I'm still good. I'm still able to Spark. So I don't know what was up with that, but it kind of freaked me out. So let's go ahead and get Spark turned on. Speaking of Spark, but those kind of messages are real concerning. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tap Spark. I'm gonna tap Spark now and we'll just say the latest turn on and of course i can turn it off if i need a break or whatnot and then i'm going to go over to good old grubhub now with grubhub and you know them partnering with prime i haven't noticed i toggled it on i haven't noticed a increase in orders at all and i even picked up a schedule you know just a slot to see um if i would get any more offers i didn't notice the difference i don't know you guys let me know if you drive for grubhub and you've noticed an increase in orders for grubhub maybe it's going to take some time spark is sending them me an offer and it is this is the location i had removed but he did say seven business days um sherwood 10.9 miles again i have to drive to that city and then i have 10.9 miles to drop two orders off for $20.68. Now the $20.68 is nice, but the miles are too high and I have to drive to that other city. So uh, that's a no-go. I don't even hit the decline anymore, but my acceptance rate still goes down. I know some people said by not doing that, it doesn't affect their acceptance rate. Well, it sure does mine, but regardless, they can just send it. What are they sending me? Another one, another one to Sherwood. So again, the offer looks nice, $26.60, 3.1 miles, but I gotta drive there, and then I have 3.1 miles to drop the offer off. So, I am gonna go ahead and turn on Uber Eats, tap that, and hit go. And we are on for Uber Eats. Spark sending me some more offers. You better send me something good. Um, oh, that one ain't bad. There is a offer for $14.47 for 1.5 miles. 
and it is an apartment four cases of Pepsi do I want to do that and it's a second floor that would be two trips for me because more than likely it is stairs oh gosh it's a, it's a hard one I got four minutes Oh, that's an absolute no. <laughs> this is an absolute no. An offer for $21.21 for 17.5 miles. It's going to take me into another city. I do not want to go out there. That is a no-go for me. Spark. You know, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Now, the hesitation for me, and I, it locked in. Let me see what Uber Eats has. Um... $11.62 for 10.6 miles. It is a shop and pay for 7 11. Uh, miles are too high, and no. Six items for 7 11. That is a no go for me. So, the hesitation with this Walmart order, and plus I had the other offers coming in, is yeah, the pay is good, the miles are good. But I do have to drive to the Walmart, which is probably 10, 15 minutes that way. Now there are four cases of soda, which will take me two trips more than likely, unless I figure something out, I might be able to throw them in my bag. But my concern with Walmart is they have had some staff changes and they seem to be short staffed and the waits have been a little bit longer than usual so that is my concern i'm gonna go ahead and drive over there hopefully i can catch like an uber eats or a doordash or something i gotta turn on doordash too see if i can catch something with low miles while i wait to go pick this up because i do have about 20 minutes till i have to be there to pick it up so we shall see but that's my hesitation with this order um I just hope that the wait isn't long and like I said, I have to drive over there. So it's not a bad offer. I'm gonna see if I can get a food delivery. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna cross my fingers that I can get something. So we are gonna head over there. So like I said, I was gonna turn on my other apps in the meantime to see if I could catch anything on the way to Walmart. And of course, there's offers that need to be declined. I got a offer from DoorDash, 9.2 miles for $11.50. That is a no-go for me. The miles are too high and the offer was, it was gonna take me pretty far out. Kind of, I don't like it when I see a bunch of green. So still in the city limits, but I don't like it when it starts getting out there because then you got a drive back, you know, to where your restaurants are. So the next offer I got was from Uber Eats. $4.53 for 4.2 miles for Mr. Beast. That was an absolute no. And then right after they were coming in, right after that, Uber Eats threw me another one. Now this I took $12.71 for 5.3 miles. So this offer from the looks of it should take me in the vicinity of the Walmart where I need to pick up the Walmart order. I am here at the restaurant right now. This restaurant's pretty good. Usually it should should be ready that way we can get to go and get it dropped off head over to Walmart be on time and get that order dropped off so we're gonna go in and cross my fingers it's ready yes checking on an order for Megan a yes for Uber Eats perfect thank you all right, the order was ready, which is absolutely awesome. And Uber Eats has been trying to throw on add-ons and they've been all right, but nothing that I could take. I still gotta go pick up that Walmart order, but they threw me something I couldn't refuse. $6.69 for 0.9 additional miles. So it's in the same vicinity of the customer's order that I gotta drop off. And the restaurant's in the same parking lot. So I am here, I'm gonna go inside. Hopefully the order's ready. Didn't look very busy in the last restaurant. Um, and I found parking in front of this restaurant. Usually the parking lot's packed around here, so this might be a good sign. Um, so we're gonna go in, hopefully this order's ready, get these orders dropped off, and then go get the Walmart. Laura D? Laura? Is it that one? Laura? Uh, spring rolls, egg flour soup, crab and cream. Yep, perfect, thank you. And that's all of it? Okay. 
All right, so I've got the other order. So I go in there and there are some customers that don't seem very happy. Um, I don't know if it's like they weigh the food because I kept hearing them talking about they don't think that the weight was right or something about that. So it sounded like maybe they felt like they got overweight on their food. I don't know, I don't know how that place works, but um, yeah, they weren't happy and, and she's trying to help me because I think she can tell that I'm there to pick up an order because I got my phone. And sure enough, I seen an order sitting there and it was my order. I showed her the phone and she handed it to me but she kind of seemed unsure because of she you know she's dealing with these customers over here that aren't happy um, But she's like egg flour soup. I'm like looking at the order. I'm like, yeah, it has egg flour soup But then I'm like she seemed kind of unsure and um, But it's their order. So we are all good. So the order I just picked up is four minutes till drop 1.3 miles so we are almost there it is an apartment so hopefully it's easy to find and then we'll go drop off the first order that I had accepted order is dropped off like I said it was an apartment now these apartments are easy because they're visibly marked um, with the building letter and the apartment number so they're easy to find plus it always helps that the GPS takes me right to the building so it's a quick and easy drop off they were on the second floor but um, just ran up there and dropped it off so we are on to the second order eight minutes and 3.5 miles which is gonna take me into the vicinity of Walmart drop-off was and we're headed to Walmart obviously um, gotta go pick up those four cases of soda but I was out in this area it was my last order for the day from five guys and you know five guys can be kind of iffy when you go there and it was good pay um, reasonable miles so I was like okay this is gonna be my last order well believe it or not and I was actually in shock five guys had my order like done like that there was even a milkshake and sometimes with those milkshakes you just never know sometimes you're having to wait for that milkshake I mean they whipped out my order I was really surprised but it wasn't that busy in there so that's probably why I got it so quick but I'm going to drop off the order and the customer you know when you drive into the neighborhood he's kind of like he's still in the city but kind of further out and you kind of have to drive into the neighborhood you take a left a right a left it's kind of like this maze <laughs> well it turns into a maze once you lose service so uber eats is sending me orders on top of my current order well they froze up my phone from doing it well i had no idea where i'm going so i had to close out of the app completely and then go back into that well because I only had one bar of service out there I couldn't even get the app to load and I'm like oh my gosh what am I gonna do like I have to try to figure out how to get back out to the main road to hopefully get service because it just kind of like completely went out back there and I'm like oh my gosh so you know, I kind of drove, you know, back down some of the streets and was hoping that I would get service, kind of pulled off, try to get back on the app and nothing, could not get back on the app. I don't even know if the customer can follow me at this point because my app's not even working. If they are following me, they're probably like, what is going on? I did message them, I was on my way. So they knew they're gonna be getting their order soon. Anyways, I managed to get myself out back to the main road which I don't know how, but I did because nothing would work. Not even my GPS to like get me back onto a main road. Everything was like crapped out for a moment. So I took and I put their address into my maps um, just in case the app started acting up again. And sometimes you'll have the coffee icon. I didn't have the coffee icon at that point where I could pause it. Um, you know take a break after I drop off that order I didn't even have that but anyways I ended up getting my app to work and I put the address into my maps just in case it you started acting up I get to the door the app start giving me trouble anyways the order got dropped off but I mean I haven't had an issue like that with an app in a long time it 
really like I had to go and try to find the main road and then to get out of the customer's neighborhood I had to again try to navigate myself until I could get service to get out it was like oh my gosh I somehow I made it out I made it out I don't know if you guys have ever experienced something like that where you just kind of everything like craps out on you and you're having to like figure things out but I have not had anything like that happen a long time of course it was super frustrating doesn't happen very often but we are almost to Walmart so these four cases of soda should be ready and out soon all right all right, I am here and I am checked in. There was two other vehicles here when I got here. I'm the third person. The one on the left of me got loaded up. They're out of here. Um, so I do see some staff out here. It's not loaded down, so that's a good sign. And like I said, it is only a few things of soda, so it should not be very long. We shall see. Um, hopefully it'll be out here sooner than later, get these wheels back to moving. I think um, it's a good day for orders because they are coming in, but it's like I already had this offer. Um, so I'm gonna complete it, get it done, and continue on. Of course, when I get close to dropping this off, I'm gonna turn on my other apps, try to catch something else. All right, guys, countdown time. All right, I got the four cases of soda. Now they are 24 packs, so um, yeah, they're, they're, they're cases of soda. I knew what I was getting myself into. However, and it's an apartment, which I understood, and I'm thinking because a lot of the apartments that we have here are, you know, staircases, and my thought was pull up to, you know, the entrance, um, you know, pop the trunk, grab two, run them up, because I think it's a second floor drop come back down the stairs, grab the other two, run them up. Quick little workout, right? Well, I'm reading the notes and it is an apartment complex that has a code to get in. Now, if I'm thinking it's the apartment complex, which I actually delivered to yesterday that has a code, they are more harder to find, one, the building, and two, the entrance to get in for the code. It's a really frustrating building. One of the more frustrating apartment complexes right here. Now they do have an elevator. That's the good thing, but having to find the entrance, I hope it's easy. They did give some notes of where their entrance is. So did the customer that I delivered to yesterday, but it was still hard to find. Here we go. We are at the complex that I thought it was not one of my favorites. Hopefully I can find the entrance easily. Here we go, guys. Here we go. This is the same issue that I had yesterday with the order trying to find the building because <laughs> You have to drive around to confirm the building number and it's just not visible. It's not on the backside of the complex. I mean, they gave me notes, but those notes probably make sense to them because they live here. I followed it, there's the pool, there's the mailboxes, but where is the door, where is the building? I don't have, they're just a bunch of buildings. <laughs> I need a building number to find you. So I am having to go, so it's not this building. There's a, a customer that I delivered to in this building right here. It is not um, this building. So the search continues. It's one of those frustrating places, very frustrating. Hopefully it don't take me much longer. Um, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's not looking worth, worth it to me right now. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get it done. All right, so I went back and followed their clues again because I'm like, I'm about to have to call them. <laughs> um, and I have to walk on this path, not very far in, but there is a door to the left and a door to the right, which has the building number on it. Not visible from the street, not helpful at all. Um, but okay, I know what direction to head into. Um, this is not the best order, especially four cases of 24 pack soda yes I knew what I was getting myself into but when it comes to uh, these buildings trying to locate them then I have a code and I have to come back down and make a second trip to the second floor so and who knows these buildings also too have long walkways I don't know how far deep they're in there so was this the best order absolutely not all I'm thinking to myself is Uber Eats was rolling in I'm missing out on a lot of Uber Eats orders um, but we're gonna get it done we're here and I found the building so that's a relief I was about to call the customer and get a few more clues but I just needed to get out of my car and walk and voila there's the door um, off the little path with some bushes so all right guys let's go get it done
And here is two of the cases, the 24 packs. And to the door with the code. All right, guys, round two. And I put a rock on the door so I can get right back in. Orders dropped off. Now this is why I do not like taking the apartment orders. Um, if I had a dolly or a wagon, it would have helped. I wouldn't have made two trips. Um, but in this case, the staircase was right at the door and they weren't too far down the hallway, which was a major plus. That was my concern with these buildings. Sometimes you have to walk a ways down the hallway till you get to the customer's apartment. It's dropped off, it's done. Um, not my favorite type of order. Um, I just don't like these apartment complex buildings. I don't like them. <laughs> so after I dropped that order off, I got an order for Uber Eats, $8.55 for 1.9 miles. I am heading there now, and uh, hopefully it'll be ready for pickup. All right, I got the Killer Burger order little bit of a wait there was a long line and people with to-go orders but um not bad at all um one guy working it but he was you know working the counter good making sure to check check in with everybody so appreciate that um while i was waiting though i got an add-on for a restaurant that's right across the way uh for thai food nine dollars 82 cents for 1.2 miles that is an automatic except so i am heading there now i just put uh the burger in the hot bag and uh this food over here should be ready they're usually pretty good if not it's just a moment but since i was waiting in there i'm assuming that this food is ready so we are heading there now Yes, Lacey T. Thai food was ready, which was awesome. Just took them a moment to bring it to me from the back. So the first drop off is Killer Burger. They are actually in a hotel, two minutes, 0.7 miles. Um, there is no room number. I messaged them, told them I'm on my way and that I will meet them in the lobby. So hopefully they're there when we get there. So they're right around the corner. Hi, Uber Eats order? Yeah. Name? Uh, massage. Perfect. <laughs> Make sure I give it to the right person. All right. There you are. Have a good night. All right, orders dropped off. Customer was waiting in the lobby, which was awesome. So that went smooth for a hotel drop off. And the next drop off is a house, which is awesome. I think that, uh, that apartment gave me my run for my apartments today. <laughs> it wasn't horrible. It wasn't the worst of the worst. But you know, you want things to go smooth. You want it to be easy. You want it to be quick um, because time is money, money's time. And um, some of these apartments can really hold you up. Um, this customer's two minutes, one mile. We're on our way. Let me know what your worst apartment experience was. You know, when you start out first driving, apartments can really be a nightmare because you're not familiar with them. Um, they're all different. Some of them you can't read the apartment buildings or the numbers to the apartments because the trees are blocking them sometimes you can't locate the map 
Um, sometimes the GPS will take you to the wrong apartment complex, especially if they're really close to each other. I've had that happen too. Um, but yeah, you know, they can be a pain sometimes, you know, getting to know your area and your apartment complex. Of course, it goes smooth over time. I think all of us that have been driving for a while have that apartment complex where it's like, it's not your favorite. Regardless, all drop-offs aren't going to be perfect. It comes with the territory, it happens here and there. Um, you just gotta roll with it, get it done, and then remember what complexes you don't like. Um, we are almost to this customer. One minute, they are right around the corner. Order is dropped off. Of course, my battery died. I think the heat just drains it faster. I feel like I go through batteries quicker. Um, regardless, it is dropped off. And on the way to dropping off this order, I ended up getting an offer from Uber Eats. It's been an Uber Eats day for $12.07 for 4.7 miles for Cold Stone. Somebody wants some ice cream. So I am heading there next. I so appreciate you guys riding along with me as always always and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys